Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, you'll learn how to fix iPhone 12 touch screen not working. Several users on the Apple Discussions Forum are reporting bugs related to touch screen issues on iPhone 12 series devices including iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. Like this, many iPhone 12 users running the latest iOS version like iOS 17 say that they can't press anything and it won't let them swipe. This could be a huge problem as the touch register input not responding makes the phone a brick. Your life and even your work will become stagnant. Meanwhile, some users are experiencing iPhone 12 touch screen not responding to touch in some areas. For example, they can't unlock because the bottom of the screen stops responding to touch. Let us quickly go through why your iPhone 12 screen is not working. Most of the time, it has problems with software. The screen is likely to become unresponsive if you download a faulty app, suffer unknown bugs, run out of date iOS firmware, have low storage, malware, and so on. Besides, the iPhone 12 unresponsive touch screen could be the result of defective hardware. For instance, the touch processor or digitizer is damaged, the display panel is cracked, and components inside get broken after dropping or watering the iPhone 12. Now you know the causes. Below you'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to fix iPhone 12 unresponsive touch screen. You can try to remove the screen protector and phone case, do a restart, do a force restart, delete problematic apps, and update the system. They help to fix when your iPhone 12 touch screen doesn't work and you don't want to lose any data. If the touch screen issues remain after these attempts, you'll have to delete everything to start over from scratch or go to the Apple Repair Center to listen to expert advice. Let's start. Step 1. Remove screen protector and phone case. Is your Apple iPhone 12 wearing a screen protector or phone case when the touch screen is not working properly? If you do, there's a solution at your fingertips. Remove the screen protector and take off the phone case. It's easy and make sure to do that carefully. Next, use a dried and soft cloth to clean your unresponsive iPhone 12 touch screen until there is no visible debris or liquid on the display surface. Also, unplug any external cables like lightning cables and headphones if any. Now, try to tap, swipe, or touch the screen and see if it responds. If no, move to the next step. Step 2. Restart. Restart is a go-to step to fix all kinds of software problems on any device, including your not working touch screen on iPhone 12. Here's how it works. Press and hold both volume up button and power button until you see the red power off slider. Drag the slider to the right to turn off the not charging iPhone 11. Wait 2 minutes. Then, press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. When your phone boots up, unlock it and the touch screen should work and respond now. If it remains unresponsive or it won't let you swipe the power off slider to turn off, try the next iPhone 12 screen not responding to touch fix. Step 3, Force Restart. You don't require expertise in smartphones to seamlessly turn off the iPhone 12 without swiping the unresponsive touch screen and then turn it back on. You can do it using a combo of power button and volumes buttons. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Press the side button and keep holding it until the Apple logo comes up on the display. During the process, you'll see the screen unfreeze and then it starts to respond and take action to the button presses. When you see the lock screen, swipe up to unlock and touch the screen and see if your iPhone 12 display works now. Step 4, Delete Problematic Apps. Say your iPhone 12 touch screen responds properly after restart once but the touch screen issues happen again after a while or a few hours. Time to suspect if there is a faulty app affecting the operation of your device. Think about if you recently downloaded a third-party app from an unsafe browser. Or think if you find the screen becomes unresponsive and frozen only when you run one particular app. If you do, remove it. Find the icon of the app on your home screen. Press and hold the app icon. Tap Remove App. Tap Delete App. Tap Delete to confirm. Now, see if your iPhone 12 touch screen works and responds to your touch and tap now. Step 5, Update System. You can try updating your iPhone 12 to the latest version of iOS if you find the touch screen still unresponsive after restarting and force restart. As the screen doesn't work, we're not going to do the update through the settings app. Instead, 
we'll show you another way, that is to put the iPhone 12 into recovery mode and use a Windows or Mac computer to upgrade the system. Here's how it works. Connect the USB cable to your iPhone 12 and plug another end of the USB port into the computer. Double-click iTunes or Finder software to open it up. Next, grab your iPhone 12 and press some button combinations to go into recovery mode. Quickly press the volume up button and release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Press the power button and keep holding it for a few seconds keep holding the power button even when you see the Apple logo screen. When you see a computer, a USB cable, and a link showing up on a black screen, release the power button. It's a recovery mode screen. iTunes or Finder on your computer can quickly connect to an iPhone in recovery mode without needing confirmation on the phone. Now, go back to the computer and take a look at the iTunes or Finder screen. A message dialog box should have popped up, just like this. Click the update button. There are still some steps in the following. Just do what it asks you to do unless you see it starts downloading the latest iOS software. You can see the download icon on the top right corner is active and circling. Wait and you can click the download icon to see the status of the procedure. After around 1 hour to 3 hours, your iPhone 12 will reboot and show the Apple logo. Once the update installation is complete, let your iPhone 12 restart and boot up. Hope the screen works and responds properly to your touch and tap right now. Step 6, delete everything to start over. Yes, this is your last resort. As this step intends to delete everything on your phone, make sure you've tried all the steps above correctly first. Here's how to reset iPhone 12 when the screen not working but the phone is on. Attach your iPhone 12 to the computer using a cord. Double click iTunes or Finder software to open it up. Next, put your iPhone 12 into recovery mode. Quickly press the volume up button then release. Quickly press the volume down button then release. Press the power button and keep holding it for a few seconds until you see the recovery mode screen. From iTunes or Finder screen, click the restore button. Finish the instructions that are left. When you see the hello screen, your iPhone 12 screen works again. Step 7, listen to expert advice. If the above doesn't work to make the iPhone 12 screen respond to touch, have it examined at the Apple Store or an authorized service center for further diagnoses and resolution. If you've bought Apple Care Plus service, remember to take advantage of it for device repair. If the screen not working issue is contained in this coverage, the repair will be free of charge. Now it's time to see your iPhone 12 touch screen working again and happily use it as normal. If you find this video helps, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.